Hey fam, Joshua Washington here, and today we are going to get better because I'm going to share with you the five lies that prevent you from success. Now, these are lies that either slow or kill progress in life. And if you're struggling, whether it be in achieving your goals, growing your value, growing your ability to earn more money, whatever that struggle is, this is going to help you. So stick around. Now, the five lies of success, where does this come from? This is based on years and years of researching the, the top success leaders within our world, those who you would say are successful, and studying kind of what are some of those barriers they've had to break through. In addition to that, this is from my own years of coaching and training uh, in my own life and seeing some of those same barriers at play and while coaching and training others, noticing the same thing. So all the work and research has been done so that you don't have to. All you got to do is show up, take this in, and you can prevent these lies from slowing down the progress in your life. All right. So when we talk about lies, why is this such an important topic? Well, at the foundation of any success is a healthy belief system. Well, or let me say that this way. At the foundation of any sustained success is a healthy belief system. So if you want to not just reach success once and then go back to the same old, same old, it's important that your belief system is intact because when your belief system is solid, and those of you who've been following, you know, when I talk about belief systems, I mean mentalities because that's what the core of your belief system is, is your mentality. And that's why we have the four core mentalities of faith, success, leadership, and wealth, because if you have a belief system, a strong belief system, and those, four, those a strong belief system, sorry, in those four areas, you are going to have a very fulfilling and successful life. All right. So that's the foundation of today's discussion around the five lies. Let's jump into these. What are the five lies that are preventing your success? I am willing to bet that one of these five is at play in your life. And if so, today you're going to know how to break through that by recognizing it. All right. So lie number one, lie number one of the five lies is I can't figure this out. This is a lie that many of us have told ourselves, which is I can't figure this out. And I think this is one of the most frustrating lies because it directly contradicts truth. Like it doesn't get more direct than, than like this lie and how it contradicts truth. Because here's the truth. We've talked about this over and over, but I'm going to tell you again today. You were created to succeed. So the fact that you can't figure it out is a lie. It's a lie to its core because you were created to succeed. So that means you were created to figure this out. But oftentimes our mind, our, this lie will get into our mind and we will choose feelings of inadequacy, or I should say it this way, this lie promotes inadequacy in our, in our world. So if you've ever felt like, well, I'll give you an example. I can use, there's weeks, which is not as much now, but when I first started doing like content and, and content development, and I guess it does happen every now and then, there have been weeks where I will show up and I'll be like, well, <laughs> what are we talking about this week? Because my goal, my intent is to add value to people's lives, to be able to give people something that makes them think, that inspires them, that moves them towards what I believe is the success they were created for. But there are some weeks where you get into this content planning phase and it's like, man, I can't figure out, I can't figure this out. I don't know what to talk about this week. I don't know how to add value to people this week. And here's why that's a lie. Because the truth is my skill sets, my strengths, my talents all align with the work I'm doing. The purpose of why I'm doing it is in the right alignment. It's to serve people, which makes it valuable. And so when those things are intact, when your strengths, your skills, your talents all support what you're doing. And then on top of that, the purpose of why you're doing is, is rich and it's to serve people and add value to people, then that is a recipe. That is the greatest, greatest, um, how can, what's the word I'm looking for? That is a, a great sign that you will figure it out. You will figure it out. 
because you have all the aligning pieces that suggest that you will figure it out. But oftentimes we don't believe that we rather, well, I, want, I shouldn't say rather, but we end up believing the lie that we can't figure it out, which results in us feeling inadequate. All right. So here's a, here's another one. I want to make sure I don't miss this. I wrote something else in my notes here that I think is real important. And it's about when we think about like, I can't figure this out. And I think this applies to especially those who are in entrepreneurship or starting a new venture. Cause this, this is another thing that I experienced, but you will begin to have to pull on different skill sets that you haven't before. For me, that was in the marketing department. When I first started entrepreneurship, I realized very quickly that this marketing thing is different. <laughs> it is not something I am used to because you have to promote your work and I'm not used to promoting me. I'm used to showing up, you know, giving people a ton of value and then giving them a hug and peace out, right? I'm used to delivering the service, delivering the product, but in marketing, you have to actually be able to promote it. And so I really struggled when it came to trying to identify those areas. And there was a time during this moment where I thought, man, I can't figure this out. Like, I, I don't know what to do or, or, you know, how to figure this out. But here's what happened. The longer I, I, I assess first, am I working within, you know, the, the areas, the zones that I am you know, equipped for, and I don't mean marketing. I mean, just in the, in the vicinity, in the direction of what I'm supposed to be doing with my strengths, skills, and talents. The answer is yes. So what, therefore the next question is, is it purpose filled? Does it add value and a service to people? The answer is yes. So then what does that mean? That means if I stay in it long enough, I'm going to figure it out. Even if figuring it out means finding someone else who has a strength in that, it's still a solution. And that's the danger in this uh, lie is that when you're feeling inadequate, you no longer can then make progress. All right. So that's lie number one. I can't figure this out. Lie number two, lie number two is failure is bad. And let me get my, my notes here. Cause I want to make sure I don't miss this. Failure is bad. In this lie, this, I think is one of the biggest misconceptions. I, that's what I think this lie. This lie is deceitful because this, this lie of failure being bad, it robs us of the truth, which is that failure is nothing more than an indicator. That's all failure is. It's an indicator. I've, I've once before said it's a tour guide. Failure is there to just give you a sign, to help you, to give you a sense of direction. And one of the examples I'll use, I don't know if it's a good one or not, but one of the ones I'll use is when you think when you're driving, right? You're on the road, you're heading towards a destination, you know, AC's on, the sound is blowing or sound is blasting. Sorry. Anyway, <laughs> so you're riding towards your destination and that light, that little light with the icon of, of a gasoline tank pops up on your vehicle. What do you do? Do you then stop and pull over and break out in tears? Oh my gosh, I can't believe I didn't put enough gas in the car and now the light's on. The world is ending. No, you do not do that. And you probably think it's a silly example, but it's exactly what we do when it comes to our belief that failure is bad. Yes, that light coming on, does it mean you probably could have put gas in, in it before to avoid that? Absolutely. But does that light coming on mean that you failed and you must pull over and stop all progress towards your destination? No, that light is an indicator that if you don't get some gas, there is a result that will end in something that you don't want. And that is what failure does. Failure indicates two things. It indicates that there's, it indicates that there's either some growth left to be done or it indicates that you need to change. It indicates that there's, when I say growth, meaning that there may be some more time you got to put into this thing because you haven't grown the, the muscle memory. You haven't grown the skill set, the proficiency. You haven't grown enough yet. So there's more time that needs to be put in. And failure just indicates that. Or when it comes to change, 
Failure may indicate that you need to change some habits or you need to change the way you think about this. Failure is equivalent to that gas tank light coming on and telling us that we need to take some actions. We need to grow or change before we destroy or before we completely prevent ourselves from reaching the destination. That is what failure does. So failure is not bad. Failure is an indicator. So take that lie out of your head. Don't be afraid to fail. Be afraid to not read the indications. Be afraid to not see the signs, to not grow, to not change. That's what you should be afraid of. But failure, failure is not something to fear or to consider a bad thing. All right. So that's the second lie. Failure is bad. The third lie here, let's keep this going. The third lie is I can't afford it. And this is probably one of my favorite lies because um, I just find it funny when someone tells me that. And maybe that's the extent of why I find this to be a, a favorite lie because <laughs> I think it's funny. And I'll tell you an example. I was uh, yesterday, just yesterday, I was talking to a friend. So the backstory here is we recently, myself and a few friends, we went through some training and development around the subject of wealth, like how to uh, wealth creation. Okay. And in this training, there came a point towards the end that you got an opportunity to invest more into yourself and your knowledge and grow it. Right. And it's a, it's a high dollar e event, you know, high dollar to most, most people will see a two to $3,000 thing. And if they don't get an immediate, you know, kind of reward or something in exchange, it's a lot, it's very intimidating to pay that price. But when you understand the, how investing into yourself works, I won't even, you know what? I won't even get into that. That's a whole nother conversation. <laughs> we'll do that in another video. But point is sticking to this story. So I call up my, my friend and we're reviewing, right? So that we can continue making progress. So I'm asking, Hey, what's going on? You just finished up your, your uh, training. What's the next steps? And my friend almost reached through this phone, but he says to me, bro, I can't afford it. And I'm sitting in my car and I'm thinking, who am I talking to? Like, I, I don't have friends that think that way. He's just having a moment. And so we, so I, I kind of got on him a little bit. And what I was doing is I was challenging him because what I know, because I'm on the other side, I'm not, I'm not underneath this lie. So I'm, I'm able to think through this a little bit and I'm telling him, I'm thinking in my head, I'm a business owner. He's a business owner. All of you who might be business owners, you know this, when you are paying for something like education for your business, that can get written off as an expense. And that expense, oftentimes you can write it off almost, if not a hundred percent, a hundred percent write off. So don't tell me you can't afford it. And that's the danger of this lie. This lie, it promotes lack. And when we are under the lie of lack, we have no room, no energy to develop solutions. It was amazing. After I said this to my friend, it's like a light bulb went off. He was like, yeah, you're right. And then, I, and then I'm thinking, I, him, he's saying this, I, he, I'm thinking to myself, man, doing this can get me closer to the goal I want, which is time freedom. Like this is absolutely worth the investment. He, started, he went from thinking I can't afford it to I cannot afford to miss out on this. And that's what I, that's the shift I want some of you to have where you've been telling yourself you can't afford it. If it comes to investing into you, investing into your skills, strengths, talents, character, when it comes to investing into that, that quality, those, that eternal value, you can't afford not to. So get rid of the lie that I can't afford it. Because that lie promotes lack. And if you are living in a space of lack, you have no room to create solutions that will get you closer towards the success you were created for. And I, I'm not, I'm not yelling at you today. I'm not trying to, I'm just doing the same thing I did for my friend. Because for friends that I love, I do this. Your life is too valuable to miss out on success because you thought you can't afford it. Now, with that being said though, this rule or this lie, what I'm telling you about this lie, does not apply to 
entertainment or luxury. All right, I gotta make that caveat. I gotta be responsible here. Uh, if you're telling yourself you can't afford that, you know, I was looking at a, a G class, uh, what was it? A G, a, what do you call it? G wagon? I'm not even really into cars, but I just found it to be fascinating how beautiful it was on the inside. It's like a $280,000 car. All right, that's a luxury. If we keep working on it, it might be a business expense, but that's another, that's another conversation for another day. But things like that, you get what I'm saying? If it's a luxury or entertainment, yeah, you, you can't afford it. And I'm not talking about money, I'm talking about time. You can't afford to waste your time on entertainment or luxury when there's work to be done and work that will get you closer to the potential and the value that's, that's inside of you developing that, all right? So that's all I wanna say. This is not a, that lie of I can't afford it, okay? Don't apply that to the luxury and the entertainment. All right, that's all I'm gonna say. All right, <laughs> next one. The fourth lie that prevents us from success is it's too late. It's too late. And this is kind of a newer lie, I feel like. I feel like this one just came up in the last three years where people are constantly telling themselves it's too late. And I'm not, not even like just older people, younger people, it's too late. And so I saw this recent fact and I thought it was appropriate for this. Did you know that some, two of our favorite actors, everybody loves, I won't say everybody, I'm sure there's some that don't, but most people love Samuel Jackson and Morgan Freeman, two very well-known actors that we generally enjoy when they're in a movie. They do a really good job, all right? But did you know that their big break, not when they started acting, but their actual big break into Hollywood didn't come till they were 40 years old. Now that's not old, but some of you think your life is gonna end at 40. And theirs, their career was just almost just beginning at 40. It is not too late. Hear me clearly on this. As long as you have oxygen in your lungs, you have time. As long as you are working towards something that aligns in your strengths, skills, talents, and is purpose-filled and value-driven, you have time. Do it. Do it. Don't fall to the lie that you don't have the time. And I want to read something here from my notes because I thought it was important to point this out. This lie, it causes high acceptance of low expectations. Meaning that you accept, you have a high acceptance that you're never going to reach further. So you keep your expectations low. And some of you, you've seen this person before. Have you ever met someone that you look at them and you, you don't see any like life in their eyes? You don't see, they ha they're stuck on low energy because they have a high acceptance that this is it for them? And let me tell you, that is a, that is a dangerous place to be because what you're doing, you were just having a slow walk down this plank towards the end of life. You've adopted this mindset that life is just to exist and to arrive either safely or on time at death. And you miss out on all this space because you may have believed that your time passed. Well, your time is not passed. It is not expired. You have breath in your lungs, meaning you have time. It's not too late. And I really, I want someone to hear this today. It is not too late. Whatever you're working towards, even if you don't accomplish that thing, it's still worth it because you will grow in between. And in life, either you're growing or you're dying. There is no in the middle. There is no middle space. Either you're growing or you're dying. And if you believe it's too late, then you are accepting the change that life ends here. What's the point? And that is a travesty. That is a, a, a sad depiction for any human being to live, all right? And, but after today, you're not gonna live that because you recognize this, this lie. It's not too late. It's not too late, all right? So get rid of that high acceptance of low expectation, all right? Last one here, last one here. Make sure we're on the right screen. We're doing the five lies to prevent your success. Here's the last one. This is the lie that success will happen quickly. Shall I slow that down at the end? This is the lie that success will happen quickly. 
And I think if they were to put this lie like on a <laughs> the book of lies, I think my face might be on one of the people who suffered from this lie. And I, I laugh because I, I think about when I first, when we were in college and one of my first loves was music. And so um, I did a lot of music producing and like, um, like performance. And I had this thought in my mind that if we made just one song that we thought was great, then that would mean surely that everyone else would think it was great. And all we needed to do, and this is how far back this was, we sit in my apartment with my little XP computer. And we go on one CD at a time, burning CDs, burning CDs, burning CDs, so that we could go and hand them out to people. Because we knew we had just written and recorded the best song. And looking back and listening back to those songs, we were <laughs> underneath a lot, right? And, and it, this is how these two things correlate. Because when we would go out, and we wouldn't get the response that we expected that aligned with what we thought or how good we thought the music was, we stop. We just stop. And that's the danger of this lie. I call this lie the setup. This lie is the, the setup. Because this lie, if you believe that success is going to happen fast, you are welcoming in frustration, anger, envy, inconsistency and defeat among other things because the truth is and here's something I don't want you to miss the truth is people underestimate and I did as well people underestimate the horizon of greatness the time horizon of greatness let me say it again so I make sure you we get this right people underestimate the time horizon of greatness. It takes a consistent cycle. Here's the cycle. It's implementation, evaluate, review, and then right back to implementation. Like that's the usual, and I'm simplifying this tremendously down, but that's what that cycle looks like. Success is not a destination. It is a continuation of growth. And so if you want to succeed, you had better not fall to the lie that it's going to happen quickly. It could, but you better be focused on the process. You want to keep your attention on that cycle of, okay, I'm using a music example. We rewrote the song, we recorded the song, all right? Then we, we go out and we distribute it to people. That's the evaluation. See what their response is. Get their feedback. And then we review it. And then we go right back. Implement. And we grow and we grow and we grow. And eventually, you'll be so good that you'll get people's attention. Because you've used the feedback. You've used the data. You've not gotten so obsessed with results that you allow results to stymie your progress. You allow results to stop you from putting in the work to grow. And I want to read something I wrote here in my notes because it really captures that moment in my life and I think it'll help you in yours. And I wrote that, here's what I wrote. Things I thought that I would succeed at immediately ended up taking a lot longer. And the reason why was because I was measuring by what I thought, which meant I would stop way too early in the process and expect results versus becoming an expert at implementing, evaluating, and then review. And some of you have experienced this where because what you thought, you thought the, the results you thought would come to life didn't, you, you quit way too early. You quit way too early. And that's what this lie can cause. So here are the five lies to review. I can't figure this out. Failure is bad. I can't afford it. It's too late. Or the last lie, success will happen quickly. These are the five lies that prevent your success and mine. But the good news is today you are aware of these lies. So that means you can take action and making sure that they don't have a place in your life. And if you do that, 
If you can avoid these lies in your life, you can accelerate your progress towards the success you were created for. All right. So I hope this was helpful. If it was, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification button so you don't miss anything. The goal here is that we grow together so we can reach the success we were created for. All right. Now, also make sure you share this. Make sure you share this. That's <laughs> make sure. I don't know why that sounded wrong in my, in my head. Make sure you share this with someone if you found it to be valuable. And if, if nothing else, I will see you all right back here next week. Same time, same place, reminding you that success is your destiny. Till then, take care.